Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new MetaHuman Audio to Facial Animation New Future in Unreal Engine 5.5. Basically, you can take any audio file and generate facial animation for your MetaHumans without the need to use some sort of facial motion capture device. It even picks up subtle noises, so... <coughs> If I cough like that, you can see that it will pick up and generate all sorts of different facial reactions to certain unaudible sounds, even sounds that might not be actual dialogue. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure that you leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing because I'll be making more future Unreal Engine 5.5 tutorials. Also, if you want to learn more about game development in Unreal Engine 5, you can check out some of my courses on my website where you can learn how to make all sorts of games. I have a multiplayer survival game course on there as well as a mobile game course. So yeah, check out those courses on my website, the link in the description or head over to smartpoly.teachable.com. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing that you'll need to do is download Unreal Engine 5.5. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you have 5.5 installed and go ahead and launch it and create a brand new project. Now, I've already done this and created a brand new level here, but basically all you need to do is head over to the Epic Games Launcher and scroll down into your library and search for the MetaHuman plugin. And if you don't have the MetaHuman plugin in your library for whatever reason, you can open up your web browser and head over to fab.com and in here, just click on the search, go to Unreal Engine and search for the MetaHuman plugin. And you should see it right over here, the MetaHuman plugin. Just click on it and click download and add to your library. So make sure that you're signed in with, to your Epic Games account. Then it will add it to your library over here. You can just sync your library and you will install it to the engine. You'll select 5.5. I already have it installed. You'll click the install button. Then in your project, you want to go ahead and go to edit plugins and search for the MetaHuman plugin and make sure that you have that checked right there. Now the next thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to install the bridge plugin. So in your library you're going to have to search for the Quixel bridge plugin. So you want to search for Quixel bridge and you also want to click install to engine and install it to 5.5 as well. So make sure that's installed on Unreal Engine 5.5 because there's no way to actually download MetaHumans through Fab. You have to do it through Quixel Bridge. And of course, once the Quixel Bridge plugin is installed, you want to go to Edit Plugins and make sure that Bridge is installed like so. Uh, you might need to restart your project to see it happen. But once it's done, you can go to Window and you should see down here Quixel Bridge. So make sure that you can see that and you should be able to open up the Quixel Bridge window. Now in here, you're gonna to want to log in again to your Epic Games account. So click on the profile icon in the top right and sign in. Then you can head over to the MetaHumans tab that have all the different MetaHumans. Now currently, you can use some of these MetaHumans that you want. So if you want to download any of the presetted MetaHumans, or you can create your own MetaHuman by clicking the Start MetaHuman Creator. Basically, that will pull up a separate window and you can select Unreal Engine version 5.5 and launch the MetaHuman Creator to create your own custom character. Now, I've already done that, and under my MetaHumans, once you finish creating your custom MetaHuman and saving it, you'll have it in your library like so, and you'll be able to select the different optimized versions uh, on that particular MetaHuman. So you can see I have low, medium, high, or cinematic. So you can use either of the options. Uh, I've done a video already showing the differences between the quality of the different metahumans. Uh, these are more optimized towards game, while the cinematic is sort of like the raw, high quality, mo mainly for making like films and things like that. It's completely up to you what quality you choose. You just download it and click add to your project. And once you've added it to your project, you should have a folder for metahumans. And if you get some pop-ups to enable some plugins, you'll just click enable. That will just enable missing plugins like the groom and metahuman plugin. But in your folder, you should have a new folder for metahumans and you can find the name of the metahuman. In my case, mine is named Joe. And so in this folder, we can go ahead and drag and import our audio file. So as you can see here, I have this audio file video introduction dot wave. So you want to make sure that your audio file is dot wave. So you can convert, you know, an MP3 file online. Uh, you can just look it up real quick. But once you have your audio file, just drag and drop it into your project and you should have it just like so. You can file save that. And now we can right click and go to MetaHuman Animator, assuming that you have the 
MetaHuman plugin enabled. If you don't see this, you'll need to enable the plugin. Search for MetaHuman in your plugins and just enable it. But under the MetaHuman animator, we can select the MetaHuman performance and you can rename this to, you know, Joe Performance or video introduction, whatever you want. Then just double click and open this up. Now in here, we're going to, under the details panel over here on the right, we're going to, instead of the input data being depth footage, we're gonna choose audio since we're using a audio file. Then for the actual audio file, we're going to go ahead and select our video introduction and we can just hit the arrow button like so and that will assign it like so. You can also hit the drop down and search for the name of your audio file. Then for the control rig, we want to hit the drop down and select our face control board underscore control rig. So you wanna make sure that is the face control rig like so. And then for the mesh, this will be basically the character mesh that we're gonna preview this on. So you wanna hit the drop down and we should have our MetaHuman face mesh. So pick the one that you want. In my case, I'll pick this Joe face mesh right here. And it's going to ask us to use clock audio source. We'll just click yes. And now we should see that it pops open with our characters mesh right here in the viewport. And then all we're gonna have to do is now click on the process button over here. And that will go ahead and animate this character and create all the keyframes based on the audio file that we provided. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Now it's basically done. So now we can go ahead and actually play back and listen to this. Let's go ahead and play this real quick. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new MetaHuman Audio to Facial Animation, New Future and Unreal Engine 5.5. Basically, you can take any audio file and generate facial animation for your MetaHumans without the need to use some sort of facial motion capture device. It even picks up subtle noises, so... <coughs> If I cough like that, you can see that it will pick up and generate all sorts of different facial reactions to certain unaudible sounds, even sounds that might not be actual dialogue. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure that you leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing because I'll be making more future Unreal Engine 5.5 tutorials. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So yeah, that is the performance. So you can check and scrub back through the audio and basically see what all the face controls are doing. But once you're done with that, you can export the animation or export it to a level sequence. So if you're trying to create a cinematic, that will just export the animated data into an animation or into a sequence where you can then create, you know, a cinematic or something like that. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. An interesting thing to note is you can switch out the mesh. And I've actually tested this with some of the other meshes. So there's like medium, and yeah, this is the low mesh right over here. So one thing you can actually do is you can switch out the mesh. So I have this low mesh right here. You can actually see that this one is, if I go in the wireframe, a lot lower quality. So you can see it's more optimized towards a actual game ready character. So you can actually kind of see the polygons. And this is how well you can see the facial animation is working. So this is a viable solution if you're trying to create some sort of game cinematic sequence. You can now use the new optimized MetaHumans with the low, medium, and high quality settings. And you can generate some audio files, maybe with the use of AI, or you could, you know, use voice actors, whatever you're going to use for things like dialogue and generate the actual facial data. So you don't have to record and create some sort of motion capture for each dialogue line. You can just generate the actual facial data through the audio file. So this is a very neat and interesting future in Unreal Engine 5.5. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this new future down in the comments down below. Maybe the next video I should make is trying to use the actual animated data and maybe we'll make some sort of cinematic game cutscene where the player will run up to an NPC, they'll talk to the NPC and it will run into a cutscene where, you know, the player is talking and we have some basic dialogue playing. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial video like that down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.